Okay, hi dear Espresso TV watchers. Uh, we have here at the uh, Rimini uh, Coffee World uh, the new Rocket Espresso R8 machine. Uh, Andrew, could you please explain some of the features of this uh, multi-boiler machine? Okay, so the R8 is a multi-boiler machine. That means we've got one boiler for the, the service boiler, which obviously provides yeah. uh, hot water and uh, steam. Then we've got individual boilers for each of the groups. Yeah. Why we feel that a multi-boiler is better than a dual boiler is because we can run this group at a different temperature than this group. Okay. And we've also got a smaller water capacity. So, for instance, each one of these boilers is 800 mils. So it's not a huge amount of water sitting there heating, cooling, heating, cooling. Yeah. Whereas a dual boiler machine has got a large boiler for the coffee and a large boiler for the service. We don't really like that idea of that water just sitting there, not, yeah. bit, not freshening up. So, there's two versions to the R8 the R8 and then the R8V. This is the V. This means the, the V stands for variable. So what we have is we have like a conventional uh, commercial espresso machine, we have the big the big pump that yeah. supplies the water, that supplies the pressure. But we've also got two very, very small stainless steel pumps, it's about that big, okay. that live under each boiler that, that provide the pressure to the group. So what the R8V can do is it can, we can have a pressure profile. So at the moment we're showing boiler temperature, but okay, we're showing at the moment the pump is delivering five bar of pump pressure. Yeah. Very shortly it will go to the seven bar. Now we've gone to the next stage of the pressure profile system. And then very shortly we'll go to the next stage, which we'll see nine and now we've got nine bar. Yeah. So what that enables us to do is change the profile, change the pressure for five steps throughout the extraction. Okay. So what it's doing is it's not going up like steps, it's going in a curve. Okay, okay so it's fine, going, yeah. So we can either make the curve go up or we can start off at nine bar and come down again. So I think there's a lot to be said for you've got however many grams of coffee in the in the basket. As you run the water through it, the, the oils and the flavour get taken away from the coffee. But yeah. As the extraction is running to an end, you can visibly see the coffee is getting paler. Yeah. So why would you keep pouring as much water through the coffee? If you've got a ship and you're trying to park the ship, dock the ship at the wharf, you don't keep going at full power, you slow you down. You reduce so, the power. Yeah. yeah, reduce the power. So if you reduce the volume, and the water, and, and then it's also increasing, decreasing the water volume too. Potentially, you've got you've got more interest. You can bring yeah. more interest. It just gives you enough, gives the user another degree of flexibility. And then, of course, you can run different group temperatures. Okay, so you can run. Perhaps you've got on this side of the machine, you've got a lightly roasted single origin, and you want to write, run a different group temperature than a. Than a espresso grind on this side. Yes, sure, sure, sure. We Absolutely can also we can also sense, have yeah. show the group the boiler temperature, coffee boiler temperature. Yeah. We can show either a sh our shot timer or we can show the pressure profile system. Okay, cool. So what else would you like to know? Have I told you? Before? No, no. Uh, mainly about uh, uh, maintenance or how. Maintenance? Oh, I don't think it's any different. You know, yeah. um, sure, it's a, it's a more complex system with the pressure profile because we've got a transducer that lives yeah. on top of the group that measures the pressure and then tells the pump whether to push harder or, or not. So there's more. It's got three different control boxes, but interestingly enough, most companies that are using the pressure profile system are all using the same little pump yeah. and they're using software from the same. Uh, software supplier. So we're all doing different versions. We want it as to be really simple. That's why it's a five step. So with our okay, machines cool. you get a tablet yeah. and everything's done via the tablet, programmed on the tablet, and you send the information to the machine. So you don't that's the way you program it. Yeah, so more or less that's enough for me.
I guess that's a great step, great development. Here with the special steam and uh, yeah, I think two different theory. profiles. Yeah, it's a cool machine. Wow! Congratulations. Okay. Ciao.